Okay, well the saga continues. Uh, we thought we were we were done, but uh, here we are again. Uh, this time I think we finally got it figured out, and the reason we got it figured out was because I I'm tired of having lukewarm to cold water uh, at eight o'clock at night because one other person took a shower three hours before I get in the shower. And here's what we found. I found out that, um, sorry, we have a critter trying to get in, in the door. What I found out was that uh, researching sidearms after not having any hot water last night, I found a product and um, there's a gentleman explaining the product and everything. He has a heating and cooling company. After all of the forum searches, after all of the YouTube searches, the Google searches, everything, even contacting the Outdoor Wood Boiler Company, could not get this information um, that I got last night by coincidence. So here we go. S stick with me because I'm not a professional. Let's see if I can explain this. All right, so you have a sidearm and you have a water, hot water heater. You have a cold line at the bottom of your sidearm that goes out to the boiler, your return, and you have a supply line that comes in and goes into the top. You have this piece right here on the top of your sidearm that's supposed to go into your hot water heater, okay? And it creates a like a siphon, like a thermal siphon. So hot water, cold, and it cycles through this, okay? Heating up and it, it's supposed to continually cycle. We discovered that the hot water heater that we have is the wrong type for this sidearm because we have top mounted um, hot cold supply line drops you should have hot on the side or some sort of venting on the side that you can tap into and we don't our vent is right here on the top and so what happens is it creates a thermal block when it goes out and up especially this high and then tries to drop down into the hot water tank. That creates a hot water thermal block. And so essentially what we have here is a sidearm acting as an instant on hot water heater system and it just can't keep up. Once the water hot water is depleted, it won't heat up enough um, for hours to supply more hot water. So if you're running a dishwasher, showers, washing machines, anything using hot water, you're going to be out of hot water in no time with this kind of setup. You can use a sidearm as long as this goes straight into your water supply, not up and above and then expect it to drop down. Okay. Um, this type of setup should have a plate exchange system that uses pressure and creates a thermal siphon or something of that nature, pressurizes, pushes the water in and around. Um, and it's also more efficient for our purposes because we have a four plus family um, household. This is supposedly good for um, upwards of you know zero to three or four um, if it's installed properly. Obviously ours is not. So look at this again. This is the bottom. So this technically is okay, but if you've noticed how badly the person did the install and the valve is actually pointing up towards the lens which means it's not pointing down for drainage so cold to hot hot is supposed to come out of here and go straight in and it doesn't it goes up up and then back down it goes up almost 10 inches 12 inches and bad so luckily I was able to shut this valve and hopefully we'll have um, hot water using the um, electric hot water heater this winter and just using the boiler for the furnace um, again this is this is a new development so I'm still anxious I'd like to get it replaced but we can't do that because we need the we need the heat right now so we're getting closer and closer to winter but I'll try and post some photos and everything of what this install is supposed to look like and some information about what you are theoretically supposed to have up on top with this tile water heater. So, 
that's where we're at. The uh, the saga continues, unfortunately. Thought we had it all figured out, and then I just got fed up and just happened to come across, like I said, a product page for a sidearm setup, and uh, found out that this was completely inaccurate. It's completely installed wrong. I mean, just look at <laughs> just look at how many times this guy had to solder pieces on here when he did his install. I mean, that's ridiculous. This should all be pure pipe without any soldering. Each one of those solder points is a is a potential leak waiting to happen. All right. Hope you learned something because uh, I definitely did. So if you're having some hot water troubles, uh, you might want to look at your your setup here. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to to contact me. Alrighty. Well, on to the next.